separation time needs to be set for all your artists. This tells Music One not to schedule songs by the artist too close to other songs by the same singer. There are three ways you can do this. You can set a default separation time and apply it to all the artists. You can open any artist card and set an individual separation time, or you can tell Music One to set a computed separation time for each artist. Here's how to set a default separation. View the artist list, then open the Edit menu and select Set Separations. Music One may take a moment to compute separations in case you should choose to set the separations that way. Set your time in the default field. By double-clicking in this field, you can see the time can be set by frames or milliseconds, although I can't imagine why, uh, but what you want is hours, minutes, and seconds. Then enter your time in numbers only. So, for an hour and 15 minutes, I type in 11500, and then when I tab out of this field, Music One inserts the colons. Click Set Separations to Default, and click Update. Music One will ask if you want to set all artists to this time. You can open any artist card and see that it's now set for an hour 15 minute separation. Click the little arrows here to scroll through the artist list. The maximum amount of artist separation time that Music One SE will accept is 6 hours. To set an individual separation time, open the artist card, enter your time, and click OK. The timing on your other artist will remain with the default setting. The third way, and probably the best way, to set separations is by computed value. Music One can't compute the separations, however, until you've created your categories, then created your format clocks, and also installed your clocks onto your hour clock lineup. What happens here is Music One looks at all of the artists in your active rotation categories. It counts the number of active songs by each artist, and then calculates how many times each artist is typically going to be scheduled in a day. It will then set each artist for the computed time or for two hours, whichever is less. This is really the best way to do it. One of the most common problems people have when they first start working with Music One is setting artist separations that are too high. A classic rock station might set the artist separation on the Rolling Stones at six hours, but they've got a lot of stones in their library, and on an average day, six or seven songs by the boys would come up in rotation. You can't have a six-hour separation on the Stones and also schedule six songs by the group every day. It only takes a short while before Music One gets backed up during scheduling with artist separation problems, so use the computed separation time.